get ready to see the world's largest cardboard arcade created by sixth graders. Let's go back to the beginning and look at the design process. The sixth graders used the engineering process and learned how to fail forward to create their cardboard arcade. The students used STEAM, that's science, technology, engineering, art, and math, all to create their cardboard arcade. First, the students drew out their plan on paper with their team and decided what building materials they were gonna need. And then they began the building process. And oh, there was a lot of problem solving, like real life problem solving they had to overcome during their building. Abe and Reed figured out the interior angles of a regular octagon for theirs. It was so cool hearing about their thought process and seeing it all come together. These students are so creative. Hey, we're making a claw machine and um, we're gonna have a box up here with all the with a clear um, windows and there's That's gonna be great. Some in there. And then when you hit the claw, it's gonna drop down here. Down the chute? Yeah. And then you'll be able to open this up. I just love this creativity. Get get out the that is awesome boys. Awesome job. Right? And then today we added all of this yeah. came from that first box you gave us. Wow. Um, we're going to add this eventually back. Right. Maybe like Papa Shot. Papa Shot? Ah! It's called, what is it called? Chicken Hoops, Chicken hoops and Noodles. I love the creative, and I love the hoop. Made out of cardboard. I love the others. That is I like so cool. all the others. Yeah, I like all the others. <laughs> so these are the pieces that Reed's actually making cardboard. Yeah. And That's so and creative. That's so creative. That's so creative. That's so creative. Yeah. Like that. yeah wow. Cool. Great job. This whole STEAM project like had this entrepreneurial type vibe to it where we were like starting our own business with like a grand opening with customers coming. And it's true, we, we like had the whole school come to our cardboard arcade. You're gonna see that soon. The students had to relate their project to what we learned in math this year. So they made a math poster and we wanted to make it more than just math. So they made their own arcade music, logos, everything. All right, read and Abe engineered this. I did not know if it would work with the fidget spinners, but let's see, does it work? Yeah. Nice job. So this got the students really excited. We did like a soft opening with the AM kindergarten. And uh, there, there's our principal, Mr. Wilson, playing the game. So the, the kids got to practice their games and, and kind of test to see if they worked and then made some adjustments to them. There's Amber making circles and Gia's claw machine was awesome. I love the surfboard one. And Noah and Michael's um, whack-a-mole was hilarious. They did such a great job. Noah is an amazing artist. And now it's time for the cardboard arcade for the entire school. The students created some really cool decorations and there was this fun vibe right before we started. And now, get ready for the Cardboard Arcade grand opening that they've worked so hard for. Here it is. And you, you can see they uh, came up with names for their arcades and logos. They even created their own logo and their own arcade music for it. So it was like cross-curricular in so many ways. See that logo, that Plinko logo right there? They created that. And look at that, this. some of them even like decorated it and really did the art piece to it. And the parents were getting into it, I love it. I think the girls should take the surfboard to Shark Tank. This is a million dollar idea, girls. Oh, and I love the whack-a-mole, or whack-a-gator. That's Knox inside the box. 
Jackson here had so many great ideas and and uh, oh there's the claw machine I love that one. Oh, and these boys were somewhat made the basketball so much fun Ian made like three of them he did so great Victorian Amber I love that one. Oh, and these two were really good and I love the um, the foosball look at that so many awesome arcades you guys did so great that's a true false one the one that spins Oh, I, I should just be quiet and let you enjoy all these great arcades. The Papa was good. Jusani, you did amazing. I was so proud of you and Dylan. And Riley, yours were so good. Okay, there's <laughs> there's Noah inside there. He, he did amazing with this. Okay, I better let you just enjoy this without me talking. I'll see you. Here's Mr. Spicer right here playing uh, Caleb and Kenneth, which by the way is my son's favorite. And I love this duck one that Zoe's team made. Uh, they work so hard on that. There's Mrs. Johnson and uh, Riley even had prizes. Some kids had prizes. The um, There's a Plinko and the alien invasion. That was so cool. Cece did so great with her. She, she made a few of them. I like when Izzy just pushes it down like, hey, you won. So if you haven't seen Kane's Arcade on YouTube or the Cardboard Challenge, make sure to check that out. You can kind of see where uh, we got the idea for this project. I heard from the teachers that all the students in the entire school had a, a great time coming down and playing the arcade games. It was it's just a fun end of the year thing after uh, state testing and all. And uh, they, they were like, are we gonna do this next year? Oh, see that right there? They created that game. They like, um, Brody and Colton and Bowen, they like uh, created their own game, like from scratch, on scratch, I think. So you can kind of see the music above the Wackagator, uh, that's Song Maker. <laughs> So this whole thing was like a team effort. Uh, shout out to the TBT team, uh, Shannon, Holly, and Jared for helping with this and the sixth grade teachers and principals and all the uh, all the parents that came in and helped. Just, uh, just really made this a special event for the entire school and, and a core memory for the, for the sixth graders. But all good things have to come to an end. And uh, this was the saddest part for me as Gabe sings the uh, funeral song. So sad.